Hello, myself Muhammad Shakil Ahmad. Today I discuss about the safety. I know it's my opinion. If we go to work industrial or any shipyard or any gas plant or power plant or any oil plant, so I know the safety is two type of safety have available there. First, one type of safety is personal safety. Second, industrial safety is industrial safety. So, if we follow personal safety, then we need to wear PPE. We must know what is the meaning of PPE. The PPE is meaning is personal protective equipment. What is the personal protective equipment? The personal protective equipment is before we enter any project, we must need to wear our PPE. The example, my helmet for my hair protect. I wear my safety goggle for my eyes protect and wear the overall or boiler suit for my body protect, wear the safety shoes for my left protect and then if we touch any metal or any cold work, we use the cotton gloves or if my activity is on hot work welding or gas cutting we wear leather gloves long gloves this is the ppe personal eco personal productive equipment if we wear ppe the ppe save myself my body and then when we wear ppe then i can enter to the project when I enter to project, if I get a job, so before we go to our job location, we need to make sure there have entry permit or not. If have available entry permit, we can enter to the, our job location without entry permit not allowed to go to job location because the industry area is everywhere is more dangerous somewhere have no oxygen somewhere have some toxic gas this is the danger for our health so this is the procedure before we go our work location we make sure they are have gas free and have entry permit from the safety officer if the entry permit is have available from safety officer we can go to our job location then when we go to our job location then before we start our activity if we use some equipment like example welding machine or welding generator or sometime we work at height we use main lift or crane so before before we start our activity we need to check properly our equipment is have a good condition if good condition is our equipment so we can apply permit for if we have activity of hot work, so we apply hot work permit to safety officer. Then safety officer is will check our equipment condition, our work location is a good condition. Then he give, he issue a permit, then he allow me 
to start our activity so before we start our activity i have a more responsibility about safety safety myself and safety my people so our respons our responsibility is which area we start to our activity which area we start to hot work or cold work so this working area we need to barricade from the barrication tape barricade the area and then we start our activity because if we do not barricade in our working area if anybody pass away from this area this area is dangerous for our self because some people have they are working gas cutting or grinding or any activity in industrial area is have a more dangerous so better we barricade to our area before we start our activity and if anybody want to pass from this area he should know they are have dangerous then he walk from another area this is responsibility of our cell and then we if we have available hot work activity then we then we request hot work permit to safety officer then if safety officer allow me to hot work then my responsibility is before we start hot work we make sure the area is clear and gas free and there no have any combustible material for fire and there we put a fire extinguisher and then we start our activity and then what work what working time we must wear proper ppe wear hand gloves if we welding welding time we put head shield and then if gas cutting gas cutting time we use the black goggles and then if this area have to more ma uh, smoke then we wear the mask this is proper pp if noise area we wear the air plug this is safe for myself this is the procedure of industrial work so i think everybody know about this who work before in the industry like if shipyard working or if any gas plant or power plant so we follow this procedure before we start our job if we follow this procedure so safe for me and safe for company safe for the industry it is good for our self okay if if we work on a top side if we work at height so this is the most more important before we go work before we go at height like example there have is scaffolding about 20 meter on top or 30 meter on top if we work at height so we must uh, we must uh, request to the safety permit for work at height if 
the permit is available for work at height so we can go on top on scaffolder on scaffolding staging on top side so before we go scaffolding on top side we need to check there the ladder the access place have the tag or not actually there have three type of tag one type is tag of scaffolder green color tag yellow color tag and red color tag if on the scaffolder if on the scaffolding have red color tag that means this is not use this is not safe for use like example sometime scaffolder are working in scaffolding he make the staging that time the scaffolder people are put their red color tag because if red color tag so nobody use this scaffolding only scaffolder people can modification this scaffolding so if red color tag you no need to use this scaffolding because not allowed is unsafe scaffolder this is unsafe scaffolding so if have green color tag that means this is safe for work we can go on top side if without safety harness also no problem but if have yellow color tag we must wear the safety harness without safety harness no allowed to go on top side because this is dangerous if slip your legs or your breathing problem or anything happen on top side so you will fall down if you wear the safety harness if you hook up the strong place if your safety harness hook up strong place hook up properly if slip your leg or if you falling down the safety harness hanging you and then if you shout your friend will come or help you so this is very important if you work at height you wear the safety harness and then you start your activity and then you start your activity so before you start your activity on top side this is also more important you check your area if there have any combustible material like example if scaffolder are working there before he leave this area he put some extra clamps or some pipes or before another teams are working is this area he leave some scrap in this combustible material sorry in this falling object you must remove before you start your activity you must remove from your work location at height otherwise when you working time you are very busy sometime this falling object touch your body or your leg the falling object is falling down some people are work from there or some people are down side the falling object is hit his head or his body he will injure this is not good for you not good for ourselves so please before you start your activity at height you check your area if have any falling object you must bring down your falling object clear the area 
if you hot work you check any combustible material is there you remove this combustible material and then you stand by the fire extinguisher and your every equipment is good condition like example if you go start grinding you use the face shield and you use the grinding machine is good condition the wire is not leaking have safety guard in the dix area have handry level available in the grinding machine then you start your grinding if you want to start your gas cutting you wear your on, on your eyes black glass and you you, you see you check that your cutting torch is good condition no leaking on hose pipe and then you start your gas cutting or if you start your welding so before you start your welding you wear the head shield the welding shield wear leather gloves long leather gloves and that we you wear the mask and then you start your welding activity this is the more important for our life so before you start your working you make sure the area is safe the work condition is safe if the area and work condition is safe so you also will be safe thank you very much so today my topic is the uh, about safety so if think this uh, information is useful so please if you want more video about like this topic or if you want the learn steel and pipe fabrication so you go to our youtube channel steel and pipe fabrication tutorial the name of my channel and you search there my video and you watch and you subscribe to my channel for more next video uh beside you have the bell icon click the bell icon and then you give more like if you like this video and then you comment your comment box if you have any question so thank you very much